and now I will be applying silicon around the radio receiver. I had some kind of a package here from one of the things I bought in a shop and uh, I cut out something like this. The package was of a different shape but it was perfect for my receiver so I'll put it here and uh, put some silicone inside then I will wait until the silicone becomes solid. I will be using a regular silicone which is used in kitchens and the bathrooms. silicone here as well and we also have some bare contacts unprotected contacts on the electrical motor and I think I will apply silicone here too to cover those contacts so that if they get into water they then they don't get short silicone has become solid and I can get rid of unnecessary plastic on it. The plastic container that I have used looks to be perfect to fit into the car so I will keep it. I'll just cut out the excessive plastic and see where I can put this inside of the car. perfectly well inside and then I will use bridles to put it all together testing now I have much more space between the button and the transmitter which will get 
frozen when it would get into water. Now I will avoid this by protecting it with silicone and putting it higher inside of the chassis. Also I raised a little bit the, my new shock absorbers, uh, you can, they are adjustable. You can turn this and make it higher or lower and you can change the resistance of the springs. blinking inside I can see it so it kind of looks cool and now I synchronize it and we're ready to go everything works the adjustment button also works for the front wheels and the turn right and left works testing. We'll test it in the borders. 